Hello YouTube, this is Gaurav here and I welcome you all to my channel. This will be a special video sharing you a humongous event which is Hacktoberfest 2021 which will be rewarding you some amazing swags and goodies for your contribution to open source community. So in this video we will be talking about what actually is Hacktoberfest, how to participate in this event and what are the key benefits. Watch the video till the end to get prepared for this beautiful event. So keeping this excitement on, let's get started. So these were some amazing goodies which I received last year, that is Hacktoberfest 2020. So firstly let's talk about what actually is Hacktoberfest. As the name gives a hint, Hacktoberfest is a month long event held in October. This event is organized every year from 1st October to 31st October to celebrate open source contributions worldwide. For the past 8 years, DigitalOcean along with its partners including Dev and many such organizations has run this campaign to promote open source. Last year, Hacktoberfest 2020 was organized by DigitalOcean, Dev along with Intel, Vonage, CircleCI and many more organizations. Now you would have a question, why are they organizing these events? So simple answer here is to support open source. It's about celebration and awareness about open source and giving it back. You remember the last time you thanked anyone personally after you copied some code from GitHub or Stack Overflow? Other side of the table, even you would have contributed to community without any expectations to get a thank you. Am I right? So this event celebrates the open source contributions made by you and many such contributors globally. Isn't it amazing? Now let's talk about the most asked question which is how to participate in this event. So the process is quite easy but you need to listen this carefully. So first of all everyone are welcome. Anyone who wants to contribute to open source platform can participate here. So in few days the participation link will be active probably a week before October 2021 starts and once you participate you need to link your github profile with Hacktoberfest website. I will share a link on how you can open a github profile in description below. So as we discussed earlier this event celebrates open source contributions. You are expected to carry out probably 5 pull requests from github. In previous year Hacktoberfest 2020 we were expected to have 4 pull requests. But in this year, probably they will be adding a more pull request to complete this event. So let's firstly understand what actually is a pull request. So pull request will let others tell about the changes you have pushed into a branch in a particular repository or GitHub. So for example, you came across one of the code by a random contributor and you find this code very helpful and later you research and you found out that something a particular syntax can be changed or improved which will improve the performance or time of that particular code. So in that case you will create a pull request. So once this pull request is open you can discuss and review the potential changes with that particular contributor or collaborator and then add a follow up commits before your changes are merged into a base branch. Now once you have got an idea about what actually is pull request, let's understand how can you create one. So for example, you came across this random code. So this particular code is contributed by one of my friend Nilesh. So you came across this random code and you find out that this particular syntax, HTML syntax can be changed or improved on or you want to add some more syntax to improve some performance of this particular code. So how can you do it? For that particular purpose, you need to fork this repository first. Forking means simply copying this particular repository as yours. Now here before forking, you can see it's written techie nilesh flower classification. Now once you fork this, and here as you can see, flower classification repository has been forked under my account, Google Sani 1417 and also it's written forked from techie nilesh flower classification. Now this is the code I was talking about and you want to change some syntax to improve the performance. So how can you change this particular code? So for that purpose you need to click here 
it will prompt edit this file now once you click here now here I'll just make some very small changes like import say mat mat.lib.plt as plt now these are just very minor changes which I'm doing just for demonstration purpose but you can change any code over here now once the changes are done you simply need to click on commit changes now as you can see the changes has been applied now once these changes are applied you need to click on pull request now once you click on this pull request you need to click on new pull request now here whatever changes you have made on that particular code will be appeared in this preview window which will be labeled as green now when you click on create pull request whatever changes you have made will be taken to the contributor who have contributed this particular code so when you click on this pull request create pull request whatever changes you are doing here will be notified to the contributor now he has three options with him first option is to accept these particular changes and he can also merge them within his repository second option will be to just accept these changes and he can also comment down some additional suggestions he want to give third option is that he can completely reject those changes now if the contributor accepts these changes congratulations your contribution will be counted towards Hacktoberfest Fest 2021 contributions now when these contributions are accepted this is one of the fruitful contribution you have done to the community and this will be accepted for Hacktoberfest 2021 and likewise you need to do four more contributions similar to these now what if the contributor rejects this this is not accepted by Hacktoberfest since it goes against the quality standards because what happens sometimes is people just uh, remove the spaces or just change the letters from P from capital P to small P and some people also do some changes in the readme files by just removing commas or adding some commas or some very minor changes which is not actually a quality contribution to the community you are making also talking about the pull requests which are not accepted you can find it in the rules section of Hacktoberfest well it says that automated pull requests are not accepted that is scripted open pull requests to remove some white spaces fix typos optimize images which we discussed earlier are not accepted secondly pull requests which are disruptive thirdly pull requests that are regarded by a project maintainer as hindrance are not accepted and also two more rules which have instructions revolving around about three so this is how you can make a pull request and warnings to avoid getting your pull request rejected and once you have completed five such pull requests you officially complete this event and you will be eligible for the amazing swags which Hacktoberfest offers to its contributors now lastly and most importantly let's talk about benefits and swags you receive so until last year they were awarding some amazing t-shirts with some stickers probably this year they will be continuing the same so when you complete this event you are given an option to choose from a t-shirt or plant a tree as a contribution to mother nature you can choose either of them last year i chose t-shirt since this stays a memory for your contributions but to be frank here apart from getting swags the biggest benefit of this event is you understand and get aware about open source and you tend to contribute on it not only on github you can contribute on dev as well we have stack overflow also you can contribute on medium through blogs and many more which stays a biggest contribution and a help for you as well as a huge global community well this was all about to get yourself ready for hacktoberfest 2021 do hit that like button if this video was helpful and subscribe my channel for amazing content shared every week signing off for today keeps contributing to open source stay safe take care and bye bye